Hello, today we're talking about the Corel Easy Freeze pre-programmed controller. This is a wonderful controller for freeze applications that's already pre-programmed to most generic freeze applications. We're going to talk about how to change the defrost parameters in case sometimes you come across a situation where it does need to be modified from the, from the default settings. So how we get in there is we go into the parameters by pushing and holding the set button for a few seconds. PS is there for password. Push it again to signify zero. Take it up to 22. Then press set. And then we're going to scroll through until we get to the defrost parameters. The first one will be DO. DO. Now this is signifying defrost type. So you press the set button. One is for hot gas. Two is for heater by time. Three is for hot gas by time. Four is for heater by time and temperature continuation. So we're going to leave this at heater by time, which is be number two. So you press set to confirm. Move down to the next one. This is DI, which is interval between two defrosts. Every six hours, we can increase this. We can reduce it. We press the set button to confirm it. Press the up button to continue. This is end defrost temperature. This will stop the defrost when it hits eight degrees. This again can be increased or decreased by using the up and down arrows and press set to confirm. Moving on to the next parameter is DP, which is max or effective defrost duration in minutes. This is at 25. We can increase it to 30. Again, you can decrease it to whichever you want, whatever is suited for your application. The next is D4, basically defrost when the instrument is switched on, is active. So at this moment in time it's set to zero, so when it turns on it will not automatically go to defrost, but by changing it to one, this confirms it will go to defrost as soon as it's turned on. So for this instance we could leave it at one, and we can move on to the next parameter. Disable temperature during, defro during defrost. So, one will be the display is disabled. So zero means it will actually give you the temperature. I always prefer to set it to one so it will show a DEF. We confirm that in. The next one is drip time for defrost. So this is how many minutes after defrost has actually been engaged, will you want the defrost to actually stay off without the heaters to allow the water to run away? Between three and five minutes is absolutely fine. It gives enough time for it to drain away. You confirm that in. The next one is D slash. D slash basically tells us exactly what the defrost probe is reading right now. So by pressing set, it says that we are reading 24 degrees, which is correct. So you can always have a view into what the probe two is reading. So once these are all done, you can press and hold the set button to come out and the controller is now good to go.